Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samat. In this video, I just wanted to touch on three very important points about VFS Global. The first one being making and attending your biometric appointment, about uploading the documents online, and about what happens when your documents actually fail to upload before your appointment. Disclaimer, this information will not guarantee that you will get a spouse visa. I'm only sharing my experience and the process that I went through with you so that you know what to anticipate when you do your own application as well. Biometric appointment and uploading documents. So once you have paid your IHS surcharge and your visa application fees, you will be directed to the VFS Global website where you have to make your appointment, your biometric appointment. So you have to choose available dates and then make sure you have confirmed those dates basically. After you've chosen your biometric appointment, they'll ask you whether you want the standard service which is free and it'll take three months for you to receive your passport or whether you want priority which is what I opted for. And once you've made any additional payments like I did, you can confirm everything and then you will receive a confirmation email about your appointment. After this, you must upload your documents before your appointment. So I chose a date that was about a week plus from the day I made the appointment. So I only had like a week to upload everything. Next is your biometric appointment. For Malaysians who live in Kuala Lumpur, there's actually a VFS Global Visa Application Centre right in the middle of Kuala Lumpur, literally like 5 minutes drive from KLCC. Here is the address here, I'll share the detail uh, in the description box below. Reminder that you have to bring your passport, a valid passport because they have to take that from you so that they can put the visa in your passport. Make sure you bring your appointment confirmation letter which you received in your email, just print it out. Make sure you print out the checklist that you received after you paid for your visa application. And also, just in case, you can bring like whatever supporting documents with you and also your printed version of your application form, remember? Just in case anything happens, just bring that along with you. Once you reach your center, it's like a tall building, you have to go to level 19, and then you will be first to queue up before you enter and all that stuff you have to make sure that you arrive at least 15 minutes before your appointment so that you can queue up outside and they can check like your details and stuff before you actually enter the center and this actually allows for a more smooth sailing service and so just don't be late okay be punctual you'll receive a number and then you just have to go to the waiting area and just wait for your number to be called once your number is announced just head to the counter give your appointment confirmation receipts checklist whatever it is and if you have uploaded your documents online, they'll check to see that you have your documents available online. And then they will ask you to sign a consent form stating that they have your data and stuff. Once they do that, you just wait your turn to give your biometrics. Now, it should be very easy for you to upload your documents online. Granted that you have a decent internet connection, granted that all of your documents are under 5 MB in one PDF per document, and granted that the website isn't buggy for you. For me, <laughs> the website actually had such a big error, like it would not allow me to upload my documents. It just, it just kept loading and just nothing happened. So I couldn't upload my documents before the appointment. And I checked their website and in the FAQs, it states that it is their fault that your documents couldn't be uploaded. You have to prove it by like screenshotting the page that shows the error and then bring it to the office and obviously bring all of your documents along with you so that they can scan it for free. That's exactly what I had to do. I actually already uploaded all of my documents, it's just that I couldn't submit it because like the website wouldn't allow me to submit it. So I screenshotted everything, I printed that out, and then I went to a printer and I printed out all of my documents again and brought all of my originals as well. And when I was there, I told the lady that the website wasn't working and that it wasn't my fault. I showed her the print screens that I printed out and then she also asked me to show her on the phone whether or not I could upload through a separate device and I actually tried this already and it didn't work so I could actually prove to her it doesn't work and it's not my fault. So because it wasn't my fault, she had to take about 400 plus of my documents with her so that she could scan everything 
for my application. I was there for about two hours just waiting for it to complete the scanning process basically. So anyway, because it wasn't my fault, my documents had to be scanned again and that was my application sorted. So once she finished the scanning, I could provide them with my biometric scanning as well. They called me into the little office so that I can give my like fingerprints and thumbprints. And then once that was done, I got a confirmation that everything was sorted. They took the my, my passport and they said, okay, so you just have to wait a month and just wait to receive an email or a phone call or both before you come and get your passport. Like, don't bother trying to contact them asking what the progress is. Basically, you just have to wait, wait for them to contact you. And then, yeah, that was me done with my whole application process. <laughs> Woohoo! That is all that I can share with you for today. I'm really hoping that I will get my visa soon, fingers crossed. Good luck to everyone who is applying as well to be reunited with their spouses in the UK. If I have any additional information, I'll make more videos as part of this series and I'll share with you my updates whether or not I got my visa or not and all that stuff. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!